Once you've completed your Trio Plus masterpiece, what's the next step? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to start taking your Trio songs and record them into your computer, starting with the drums. Hi, I'm Scott at The Pedal Guy. How you doing? Well, we're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals, and so do you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start recording your Trio songs into a computer's digital audio workstation, or DAW. Now, I'm going to be using Reaper for this demonstration, but you can literally use just about any other DAW there is out there. So if you're a Pro Tools guy, or a Cubase, or Logic, or Reason, or whatever, not to worry. Pretty much everything I'm going to show you here is translatable to those different platforms. So what's the benefit of recording into a DAW? Well, look at it this way. Life is not a preset, and life cannot be determined by three tracks, having your bass, your drums, and your uh, looper. So why not record those tracks into a DAW where you can then add more guitar tracks, vocal tracks, bass tracks, you can remix, you can add effects. Honestly, the sky is the limit, and that's the benefit of working with the Digital Audio Workstation. So I hope you'll enjoy this series, and while we're at it, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, why haven't you? Take a minute, click on that subscribe button. I promise you there is tons of great free information. And by the way, you're going to want to stay tuned to the end of this video because I've got a bonus tip on how to make your drums sound really great. Now you're going to need an audio interface to make all of this work. And I'm using a Presonus audio interface, but you can literally use any interface on there on the market. You can use Focusrite, IK Multimedia, Arturia. M Audio, and there's honestly a list that's like a mile long of different interfaces that you can use. And the purpose of this series of videos is not to go through the pros and the cons of each one of those interfaces. The choice is up to you, so make sure you do your research. Now let's get to recording some tracks. So let's go through the setup really quick here. I'm using the mixer output of the Trio Plus, and that's going to the first audio input on my interface. And I've got the gain turned up just a little bit on the interface. Um, as far as the mixer goes on the trio, I've got the looper and the bass turned all the way down because I'm just going to be recording the drums. And also note that this song has a sequence built into it. So essentially what's going to happen is I'm going to press record on the DAW and then I'm going to press play on the trio. I'm going to get a one measure count in and then it's going to play the entire drum track all the way through the song. And then once it's over, I can then stop recording and then I can make my adjustments to the wave file once it's been recorded into the computer. Now one handy tip that I can offer up here in how to figure out what the tempo and the time signature of your song is, is to go into Trio Manager. Now I did this in the last video where I showed you how to back up all of your songs. Go into the Trio Manager, go to your backed up Trio card, double click on it, and that'll bring up the song list. And from here, I'm going to use Song 5 for this demonstration and this whole series. So I double click on Song 5, and this gives me everything I need to know about the song. It tells me what the tempo is throughout the entire song, which in this case it's a single tempo, which is 127.8 BPM. And it also tells me what the time signature is throughout the song, which in this case it's all 4-4. So this is going to make the whole process a whole lot easier. Okay, now we're looking down at our DAW here, and thanks to the Trio Manager, I now know what uh, tempo to assign to this song because it's already set to 4-4, so I'm going to click in the BPM and I'm going to set to 127.8 hit enter and now we're ready to go as far as the tempo goes but I need to create a track as far as Reaper goes you just simply have to double click anywhere in the track list and a new track is created okay we're ready to rock and roll so first things first before we start recording make sure that you go to the trio and press that first part so it starts blinking and you'll get a one measure count in you're going to need to do this for every track from the trio that you record into your DAW so just remember that okay now let's go ahead and start recording from the DAW and let's play our song back and record our track. And once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Okay, the final thing we want to do here is we want to crop this audio file and we want to make sure that it starts on the downbeat of measure two and so it lines up with the rest of the song. Now you can see right here that the first uh, side stick here, the first uh, downbeat, is pretty close to measure two. But I want to make some more precise adjustments here to really get it tight. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the S key on my keyboard, and I'm going to get rid of some of the dead space here behind because I don't need that. Um, and the other thing I'm also going to do here is uh, get rid of that fade as well because I don't need that. 
and let's bring the cursor in really close here and you can see that it's really close to the beginning of measure two there but it's ahead of the beat so we want to get it right on top of there and so I'm just gonna move it over just a tad and I'm also going to clip the beginning part of that audio file because I don't need that it's not it's not necessary uh, so what we want to do is get really 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 close to the beginning of that file that song that audio I should say and there it is and you can see that we can move it pretty close to measure two if you want to get really precise though use the snap and all DAWs have this it's a snap enable and it'll take it right to the beginning of measure two and as I zoom out you can see that we are right on the money I mean look at that that timing doesn't get any tighter so if I turn on the metronome I go all the way back to the beginning of the song start playing it we're right on the money so it sounds good it's all in tempo and now we're ready to go ahead and record the bass well we're gonna do that in the next video okay so here's that bonus tip as promised we recorded this track in mono but what if you wanted it in stereo well it's very simple to do you just simply use the headphone output on the back of the trio and that will give you a stereo output of the drums that you can record onto a stereo track in your DAW and this will just expand the sonic quality of your music that much more so make sure you try that well that concludes our video stay tuned for the next part of this series where I show you how to record the bass and then line it up with the drums. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com, where I love pedals and so do you.